<laughs> this video of Plum's dog show is awesome. Just think, guys. If we like their dancing and everyone at the dog show liked their dancing, people on the Berry web are going to love their dancing. You want to post the video on your Berry Best Bits page? If it's okay with you, Plum. But... The music on this video is kind of hard to hear. Especially with all the barking. That's okay. I'll just use some other music instead. You can't use just any music. It has to match the dancing. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Wait a minute. We happen to have our very own world-famous singer-composer right here in Berry Bitty City. I bet she'd be happy to write us a new song. <sighs> hmm. We love our queen. She's never mean. She's super clean. Like a big green bean. <sighs> oh, why is this so hard? Hiya, Cherry. Oh, hi, guys. Is everything okay? Sure. Except... No, it's horrible. I've been asked to write a special song to help the Queen of Baravania celebrate her reign. It should be easy, but it's so much pressure. I can't come up with anything. Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't bother you then. No, no, that's okay. I need a break anyway. Maybe it'll help me clear my head. Well, if you're sure. See, I got this Dance and Doggies video, and I want to post it to my Very Best Bits page, only the music's too quiet. So I was thinking that maybe you could compose a new song to go with it. Well, you just need the old song fully produced. I could do that, no prob. How about you guys give me some backup? Yeah! Love to! to you on the Berry Web Apple. You can call it Dance Puppy Dance. Ooh, super perfect. I'm gonna post it with the video right now. Thanks, Cherry. Happy to help. Good luck on your song for the queen. Oh, yeah. The queen. <sighs> oh, great queen. You're a ruling machine. You got style and taste. Like a fancy sard... Oh. Well, there's the problem. I need fuel. I mean, even composers of the most important songs where important people were really, really counting on them had to eat. Oh, Queen, your rules are very best. Oh, my gosh. I'm so, so stressed. Still having trouble, huh? It should be easy. I mean, I write songs all the time. It's just, this is for the queen of Baravania. She's dependent on me. We're talking about actual royalty. It's so much pressure, I can hardly concentrate. Guys, guys! 
You gotta see this. You aren't gonna believe it. Look, Dance Puppy Dance has gone viral. It's got like a perizillion hits and rising. What is that song? Catchy, right? You're not kidding. It's super danceable. I've got to admit, that beat is awfully irresistible. I could listen to it all day long. What happened to our party? I can't rap my next song while I'm listening to my last song. I need some peace and quiet. Oh, yeah. Uh, the song for the queen. Sorry, Cherry. I forgot. We won't make a peep. Cherry! <gasps> Cherry! Cherry! You aren't gonna believe this. Dance Puppy Dance just made it into the Berry Bitty City Top Pop Songs. <laughs> And quiet. I'm sorry we distracted you, Cherry. That's okay. It's nice and quiet here anyway. You've got to admit, though, it's pretty cool that everyone loves your song so much. I mean, isn't that what music is for anyway? Well, yeah, but right now I need a focus. How am I supposed to think up a new melody with that other one playing in my head all the time? I mean, you might think I've gone bananas, but it's almost like I can hear that song right now. Wait, I can hear it right now. I've created a musical monster. Cherry, wait. And we're on in five, four, three, two. Top of the charts to you, Mavis Maraschino here for another edition of Barry's Hits and Misses. I am out here in Barry Bitty City with the big scoop on the song sensation that's sweeping the Barry Bitty world. Dance, puppy, dance. Uh. Sorry, I've got to go and... Play your song on the radio? I, for one, cannot blame you one bit. Ooh, tantalizing timpani. What is the secret behind this mesmerizing musical masterpiece? <laughs> Look, I'm glad you all like the song, but... Like it? Raucous rhythms. Don't be modest, darling. We love it. Why, we can't get enough of it. Yes, I noticed that. Now, if you don't mind, could you please... Ask you another question? Why, of course! Stand up, get on Tell me, floor. Cherry Jam, is this the hip way to move to your groove? If you won't dance lessons, go see Plum Pudding and leave me alone! Diss me discordantly. We're only talking about your song. <sighs> I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Well, you saw it here first, pop fans. Exclusive coverage of Cherry Jam boldly bashing her own hit tune. Could there be more to this than meets the eye and ear? <laughs> you bet your downbeats, darlings. And I'll bring it to you live. Oh, my name isn't Mavis Maraschino. <sighs> yes, no boom boxes, no berry web, nothing but peace and quiet. Oh, Queen of Berryvania, this song is to explain to ya that we've got Queenie Mania. We oh, hi, Berry Kim Bloom. Oh, uh, you guys aren't gonna turn on the radio or anything, are you? Oh no, my dear. 
you see, we've got work to do. There's no time for radios when the berries need picking. Oh, that's splendid, because I've got work to do, too. Oh, very well, my dear. You go on about your business, and we'll go on about ours. And hop, hip, hop, hoop, hop. Hee. Now, where hop, was I? Hop, hoop, oh, yeah. Oh, queen, our queen, fair ruler of our patch. From the very biggest berry to the littlest of the batch. Uh, how we praise your, your beauty. Beauty, yeah, that's it. How we praise your beauty and the fairness of your rule. Oh, queen of berry vein, yeah, you, you. Then I'll destroy it! Mavis Maraschino here with a startling development. Earlier this afternoon, I paid visit to Dance Puppy Dance's composer, Cherry Jam, when Cherry Cherry, quite contrary, painted quite the perplexing picture. I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Why would the pop princess poo-poo publicity at the peak of her popularity? Has she cracked under the pressure of her? Oh. Hey, what's up, Maeve? Captivating crescendo. Who in the name of pop culture are you? I'm Kumquat Cool Dude from Berry Big City. Kumquat Cool Dude? Oh, I'm from Berry Big City, and I've certainly never heard of you. That's because I'm so far out on the cutting edge of style and taste that only the coolest of the people been allowed into my cool circle of coolosity. You sure you never heard of me? Oh, now I remember you, of course. Uh, Mr. Cool Dude and I go way back, <laughs> way, way back. So, uh, tell me, Kumquat, from one trendy pop culture expert to another, what do you think of this whole dance, puppy dance craze? The Cool Dude is here to tell you, dance, puppy dance is super lame. <gasps> As anybody who's truly cool will tell you, it's, uh, well, it's musically horrible. And cool dude says, anyone who doesn't want to look like a total banana brain should just stop listening to it. How could that guy bash Cherry's song like that? So, if you want to be cool and, you know, sophisticated like me and Mavis, then by all means, turn off that song and never play it again! <clears throat> Yo, Big Mavis, am I right? Or am I right? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> However did that horrid song become my ringtone? <laughs> of course you're right. There you go, folks. You heard it from Mavis herself. That song is crummy. So stop listening to it. Stop singing it and playing it in public. Stop dancing and stop whistling. What this town needs is some peace and quiet so I can write the queen her song. Wait, what? Did I say the queen song? Uh, what I meant was... Oh, hey, in harmony, Cherry Jam. But why would Cherry do that? I have no idea why you would pull such a charade, Cherry Jam, but I assure you that we will not stop playing your hip masterpiece. Fine then, enjoy the song, cause it's the last song from me you'll ever hear. I'm never gonna write music again. What? <gasps> what? I can't believe that Cherry is giving up music. If only we had kept it quiet. You're right, Orange. But it's just 
so catchy. It is a catchy song. And sure, we'd love to play it 24-7. And yes, we could all dance and whistle and hum along, and we'd never, ever get sick of it. Oh, 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 oh. But friendship comes before music. And if my friend needs me to stop listening to her super catchy song so she can compose a brand new super catchy song for the Queen of Baravania, well, I'm willing to do it. Oh, yes, oh, yes. How about you, Berry Bitty City? Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. No more dance, puppy dance! Do we promise? We, we promise. promise! All right then, from this moment forward, dance, puppy dance is banned from Berry Bitty City. May we never hear that wonderful tune again! Yeah! <laughs> playing anywhere. Perfect. It's time to talk to Cherry. Once she sees how everyone pitched in to keep things quiet for her, she's bound to start writing music again. Hi, Barricade Bloom! Hmm, that's weird. Barricade Bloom, is everything all right? <gasps> Oh, uh, hello, ladies. <laughs> it really is a lovely day, uh, so if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Barricade Bloom. Well, imagine that. <laughs> However did the, uh, that thing get in there? <laughs> no, no, no! We <laughs> gotta get that berry! better. Nothing like a little nap to change your whole outlook. Maybe I'll finish writing the Queen's song after all. Oh, Queen, the land is so serene. Uh-huh. No. No! Anything but that song! Oh, you did it all right. How could you bring that song out here when you knew I didn't want to hear it? We're sorry, Cherry. Honest. Uh, we tried to keep it quiet. Oh, we really did. Can't you turn that thing off? <laughs> How do you turn it off? Don't be boom box. Don't any of these switches work? Who made this thing? The Queen of Berryvania? The Queen of Berryvania! Your Majesty, what an honor to receive you at my humble tour of us. To whatever do I owe this uh, honor? Why, I've come to observe your progress on my royal song. Oh, uh, well, you see, the thing is that. The thing is, young lady, it's quite obvious that you finished it. I... I have? And I love it! Oh, well, actually, Your Majesty, I was working on another song. I mean, 
This one is for dancing. With a groovy melody like this, what difference does it make? <laughs> Everyone, please let's put formality aside. Come join me as we get our bad seals down to the official royal song. <laughs> Cherry, this is one catchy tune. I guess. Sorry if I was kind of a grouch. You're right. I should be happy if people like my music. But seriously, you've got to let me have a break from it some of the time. Of course. And we're sorry we weren't respecting your space. After all, the Queen loves this song so much, you'll need to concentrate when she asks you to write another. You really know how to cheer a girl up. <laughs> how about a dance? Why, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> time before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! that fragrance. Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scent to shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Um, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Oh! 
what in the very bitty world? Who shrunk the sunflowers? Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry bitty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is uh, a bit more bountiful than I expected. Uh, whew, thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. Uh, I'll help you, Berry Can Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Verykin Bill. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place. Morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <gasps> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the 
store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst. Do you want to see what under control looks like? control. Whoa! Uh, so uh, refreshing. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. Poor Orange, she's gotta be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, you know what? Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Excuse me. Um, pardon me. Beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi! Those are for 
produce only. creative experience, nothing beats painting in a water coloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. She'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. <laughs> There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? Oh, how fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm... So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... 
produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry, because she's opening up a new marketplace. We're on it. Great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. Oh, you're welcome. Sure, no problem. Problem. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. The emergency. What is it, Berry Can Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time! Girls, come back! Oh, I need your help! Hey! Oh, you daisies look thirsty. You're growing incredibly fast. Hi, Blueberry. So, how does your garden grow? Most definitely the fastest growing flowers I've ever seen. Just planted the seeds this morning, and look, they've sprouted already. Wow, that is fast. Zippy grow dramatic daisies, from berry bitty seed to full-size flower in just a few days. Um, how big do you think they'll get? Approximately as tall as my store. Oh, almost forgot. The cookbook you ordered came this morning. Oh, terrific! Here you are. The Mighty Muffin Cookbook. Big recipes for bitty bakers. Oh, thank you, Blueberry. You're very welcome. There's a corn muffin recipe in here that I can't wait to try. I've heard it's really good, but it's more complicated than anything I've baked before. I read about the author, a very famous chef in Big Bitty City. I'm sure if you just follow his directions, you'll be just fine. to 3.75. Check. Set timer for 25 minutes. Check. Huh? What was that? My muffin recipe? If those are muffins, I can't wait to see what happens when you bake a cake. Thanks for helping me clean up, everybody. When somebody in Berry Bitty City needs help, we all help. <gasps> you got it. Sure, no problem. Glad to help. That's what we do in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> this is the strangest thing I've ever seen. And you're quite sure you followed the recipe? I think so. Well, the most likely explanation is that you must have made a mistake somewhere along the line. Seems like it. 
But I was sure I followed the directions. Well, I'll just have to try it again. And this time, I'll be super careful. Wow, no wonder they call you Zippy Grill. You're really getting big! Hmm, it's my observation that you look a little different from the picture. But you're so young yet. Who knows what you'll look like when you grow up? <gasps> oh no! Come on! What is it? Oh no! Not again! Let's go! <gasps> uh, don't worry. This time I just put one bitty, and I mean very bitty muffin in the oven, instead of a whole pan. All I have to clean is the oven. Okay, I got it. Just change its name to Muffin Surprise. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Muffin Explosion? Ha. Uh, Mega Muffin Explosion Supreme. Ha ha. <laughs> hey, that is pretty funny. <laughs> this really doesn't make sense. I was extra careful to follow the directions, but the same thing happened. I checked off every step. Double check the oven's temperature. Triple check the timer. Huh. Maybe the recipe has a mistake in it. What do you think? I think that's highly unlikely. Something you did seems more probable to me. Too much flour, not enough water? I measured everything to the last drop. But, you know, sometimes the most unlikely possibility is possible. There might be a mistake in the cookbook. But how could that be? I don't know, but the only way to find out is to give it another try and pay extra super close attention to every step. And if it still doesn't work, well, then maybe this is one of those times when I'll have to use my own judgment, my own common sense, and my own taste buds and adjust the recipe. Don't worry, I'll solve this puzzle. Hmm, I like directions you can count on. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it's fun to improvise. Improvise? It means to make something out of what you have at the moment. Kind of like when things don't go as planned, go with what you have and make the best you can with it. I like it. Sounds like a good way to solve a puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, I've got one for you in my garden. Got a minute? Sure. Well, they're tall, all right. Even taller than the package said they were supposed to be. Are you sure they're daisies? Of course. It says so on the seed packet. Could they just look that way because they're still growing? Well, I'm not a plant expert. But you know who is. Uh, uh, oops. Sorry, Blueberry. <laughs> no problem. Yes, it must be. <laughs> it's corn. Corn? Impossible! I planted daisy seeds. Oh! Thank you, Blueberry. <laughs> You're welcome, Berry Can Bloom. But are you sure? Oh, yes. If you hadn't caught me. I mean, about the, you know, daisies. Daisies? Oh, no, 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 no. Corn. Oh, dear. What's the matter? You've never looked sadder. It must have been something I did to the daisy seeds. Too much water, or too little water, or too much sun, or something. Uh, oh my, <laughs> you did everything right. <laughs> Best crop of corn I've seen. <laughs> Bet you'd be a natural with squash. Hmm. Oh, well, come on, everybody. Back to the berry works. <laughs> nice corn. Ooh, that's what I call corn. Tallest I've ever seen. Boy, it is big. Hi, Berrykins. Hi, Strawberry. Nice corn. So I've been told. 
Maybe we better dig it up and replant it somewhere else before it gets too big? They can't get bigger. They're daisies. They have to be. It says so on the package. Well, I just came over because I got a letter from the author of the Mighty Muffin Cookbook. I wrote to him. You did? Uh-huh. I said I couldn't get his recipe to work, so I improvised. I've made muffins before, and I don't remember ever using that much baking soda. I tried using less, and the muffins came out better. So I asked the author, could there be a mistake in his book? And what did he say? That he checked it out, and yes, there was a mistake. The recipe called for a cup full of baking soda, when it should have been a tablespoon. Wow, that's the last thing I would have imagined for the cookbook to be wrong. I tried the muffins again with the right directions, and they came out perfectly. He says they're printing a new edition right away with the mistake fixed, and he's sending me a signed copy. <laughs> That's wonderful, Strawberry. So, you never know. Maybe you did everything right, but the package was wrong. Here, I made a batch of muffins for you. Oh. Thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Listen, gotta run back. <laughs> I'm still baking. See you, Blueberry. No. The plants I'm trying to describe that are growing in my garden at this very minute do not look anything like daisies. Okay, now let me get this straight. You're saying long leaves. Long leaves. Kind of bent down and flopped over, sort of like cornstalk leaves. Exactly like cornstalk leaves. And you say long thing is that sort of look like ears of corn. No, they look exactly like ears of corn. I'm looking at a picture of a big stalk of corn. Right here in the official encyclopedia of flowers, farm foods, and... Well, I'm a daisy man myself, no expert on corn, except when I pop it. But watch out when you pity that stalk pops with a bang. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. But here at Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for bitty gardens is our motto, we pretty much guess that what you have growing there is probably corn. But how is that possible when I planted your company's daisy seeds? Well, now, right there's the mystery. And I don't mind telling you, it's got us stumped. Oh! Oh, no! See, the plain fact is that here at Zippy Grow Daisies, we don't sell corn, no siree. But we're a fiction tool. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. We've been experimenting with our own Zippy Grow Super Size Ever Pop Popcorn. Wow, what a bang when it pops. Goes off like a firecracker. As soon as we can figure out how to get the bang out of the pop, we're gonna put it on the market. In the meantime, we think that's the answer to your mystery. It is? Yep. We figure some of our experimental supersized popcorn must have gotten to one of our official daisy seed packets. And you bought it. <gasps> Oh, no! Great zone. <laughs> we all feel so sorry it happened. We're sending you a year's supply of Zippy Grow Daisy Seed Packets. Compliments of Zippy Grow Daisies, where daisies are our business and big flowers for pretty gardens is our motto. Uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. Good night. <gasps> oh, no! I've called you all here is to see if we can put our heads together and figure out what we want to do with these. Well, since Blueberry says it's popcorn, I say let's pop it. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, sounds good to me. All right, let's get popping. Okay, yeah, and have a popcorn party. I think that would be lovely. Oh, that's yeah. 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 Wait, wait! <sighs> oh, I wish I had listened to you, Strawberry, when you said I should replant them somewhere else. Now look at all the trouble my garden has caused. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm afraid a popcorn. 
popcorn party with this popcorn would be ill-advised, meaning not a good idea. You see, the seed company hasn't figured out how to take the bang out of the pop, and I believe it would be too oh. dangerous. Huh? Oh, my! We are pretty bitty, and this corn pop's very big! Yeah, it's oh, not right. a good idea. Uh, yeah, I think so. You're right. Yeah. Oh, oh, here's an idea. Um, we could dig up all the corn stalks and move them so no more grows here. Good idea. We'll start right away. And we better get all these ears of corn out of town before they ripen and drop their seeds and grow goodness knows how many more. Good point. Oh, I wonder how far we'll have to take them. I would estimate far enough away so when the seeds do grow, they don't threaten us again. Makes sense to me. Yeah. On strawberry, how can we move them? <laughs> We're so bitty and they're so <laughs> big. <sighs> Too bad we can't eat them. I have an idea. Orange, do you have any more rope in your store? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> Okay, let's move about! Far enough away, I believe. Oh no! Strawberry! Ah! 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 Blueberry! Come on! Which way did they go? I don't know. They they completely disappeared. Some kind of cave. Hey, what's that? Smoke? No, it looks like steam. Probably some kind of underground hot spring. Hey, we're down here. Hey, guys, we're here. Help, help. I hope they can hear us. This is the direction they rolled. How long do you think it's been? Hours. But at least with the steam heat, we'll be warm. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. I wish I had an idea how to get us out of this. Oh, I never read about this kind of thing in any of my books. We'll figure out a way. Improvise. What we need is a ladder. Too bad all we have is an ear of corn. Wait, what did you say? Improvise. That's it! Hey! An, an ear of corn ladder! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> The vent is making it too slippery. If only that steam vent would stop steaming. Now I'm really hungry. I wonder how raw popcorn tastes. Wait, why eat it raw? Because this place doesn't have a kitchen to cook it with. Use the steam vent. Heat the corn and make it pop. Then we could eat it. Good thinking, Strawberry. <laughs> We've 
looked in all the places that they should be. It's like they just vanished into thin air. It doesn't make sense. Then uh, maybe we should look in all the places that, you know, uh, don't make sense. What, like the opposite direction from where we last saw them? Why not? Well, at least we'll have plenty to eat. We can always pop more corn. Popcorn. That's it! Let's pop all the corn and it will fill up this cavern and carry us to the top. Oh, Blueberry, that's a great idea. Glumphalot glumped closer and closer and closer until it went. Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Orange! I have your lunch all packed and ready for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, are they reading what I think they're reading? The Galumphalot story. You should stick around to hear the end. Um, no, thank you. The beginning and the middle are enough for me. And what did the Galumphalot say? Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! You decided to have a special style under the stars hair extravaganza. <laughs> I can't think of a more thrilling way to spend an evening. Oh boy, I just can't wait to see how my hair will turn out. It's so super exciting. Raspberry, when I'm done with you, your hair will be completely different. Excitement, thrills? I'm here for the relaxation. Oh, I've had a busy week.
Um, lemon? I think someone switched off the lights. Well, it's on. Well, the dryers are off too. I would conclude we have a power failure on our hands. It's dark everywhere. In here and, uh, ooh, out there too. Oh, something must have happened to the berry works. I better go over and see if I can help out. Hmm, must be a malfunction in the juice pipe junction over in Berry Bibby City. We'll have to go over there to start the repair. Better keep the baby barricans here until we get the power back on. Oh, yeah, I do good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have no fear. I am here, ready to take charge and fix this problem. Now, everyone, follow me. Come on, Mr. Lofty. The problem is not over there. It's at the juice pipe junction. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, I was going to suggest we check there, too. Oh, hi! Oh, hi! hi. I can't I can't see. Ow. Oh, oh, sorry! Uh, so, what do we do now? I can't style what I can't see. I think we should head outside and see what the trouble is. The Barricans might need some help fixing the power. Out. Uh, outside? Um, maybe we should just wait in here. What's wrong, Orange? Is something bothering you? Uh, I guess... I guess I'm just a little bit scared. You? But you're always the very last one of us to be scared of anything. Oh, um, really? Well, yes. Remember the time when... You picked the fruit from the super high branch. You were the only one brave enough to swing into the pond. And then, you were the one that tightroped across... Um, uh, never mind. You're not scared of anything. Well, I'm scared now, and I think we should stay inside. Are you saying you're afraid of the dark? I am absolutely not afraid of the dark. I didn't think you were. I'm afraid of the things that might be out there in the dark. Things? What things? Uh, like the moon and stars? Things like, well, galumphalots. <gasps> Luggy, 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 Luggy! Luggy, Luggy, Luggy! Okay, guys, stop. She's serious. I'm sorry, Orange. Are you really afraid of galumphalots? From that cute story I was just reading to the baby berrykins the other day? But they aren't afraid of it. Well, I am. <laughs> but Galumphalots aren't real. They're just a silly story. But, but, uh, how do you know Galumphalots are just a story? Because, because, uh, well, uh, Blueberry? Well, it must be just a made up story because I got it from the fiction section. You know, the make-believe section in my bookstore. But don't people who make up stories sometimes base them on real things? Well, yes, that is true. And it is a very old story. Can't call the author and ask. I told you! See? Maybe galumphalots aren't real, but how do you know for sure? How do you know they couldn't be out there? In the... dark? <laughs> because... Uh, well, oh, come on. I've been in the dark lots of times and I've never ever seen one. But then we wouldn't see them. I mean, if they were real, it'd be hard to spot them in the dark because of the darkness. Not to mention, they could be really good at hiding out there, outside. Emma. <laughs> Come on, this is silly. Ah! One, two. <laughs> Do you think that that's one of them? <laughs> now wait a minute. How can we be sure that's a galumphalot? Yeah. 
thought they sounded more like... Wuggy, wuggy, wuggy! Well, whatever it is, let's keep it outside and, and, and us inside. Wait. See? It stopped. Glump a lot. There's no such thing. <laughs> I say! I would recommend bringing in the Big Banging Bolt Remover. Assemble this entire juice pipe junction and rebuild it from the ground up. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Longface, the Berrykins might be able to find a way to get the pipe open on their own. Without my leadership? But then, what will I do? I have another job that is very important. <gasps> you don't say. At your service, Miss Shortcake. How can I help? We need someone to tell everyone in Berry Bitty City that the Berrykins are working on the problem and the power will be out for a bit longer. You are just the caterpillar to deliver the news. That I am. I'm on my way. Execute plan juice pipe junction double knot seven slash six one. There's the problem. <laughs> What will do next? What if it's hungry for food? Food? Do you think it might... Do you think it likes food that, that tastes like... Like us? <gasps> I've never read anywhere that Galumphalots eat something like us. But I've also never read that they wouldn't eat something like us. <laughs> It <gasps> sounds like it came from Orange's store. <gasps> the Galumphalot security trap I put outside my store. <gasps> I must have caught one. I say, what's falling on top of me? <laughs> oh, pardon me. Oh, I hope I didn't break anything. <laughs> Someone, please help me! Someone, did we catch someone, it, Orange? Someone, did we? Did we? Did we? <gasps> it's getting closer! There's only one thing to do then! Run? No! We must defend the beauty salon! No Galumphalots allowed! No Galumphalots allowed! I once read a book about booby traps. Well, if a book can do it, so can we. What's first, Blueberry? Um, bucket of suds over the door. Everybody knows that one. Well, hopefully not a galumphalot. Let me handle it. I'm a pro at this. 
First, get one bucket of water. No! It's the only way. When the Galumphalot comes in, whammo! Okay, 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 okay. What's next? We must find a way to get the Galumphalot off balance. Squeezy, squishy, bitty, beauty batter for plants. I slipped on some once and slid all the way over to strawberries. Uh, careful where you step. Okay, the last thing we have to do is find a way to get rid of the galump lot once it's here. Aha! What you got? A headache. I think I'm thinking too hard. Wait, I have it! Anyone have a hair elastic? I do! Right here! I got a couple. I got one. Stand over there, please. And if you can stand over on that side... Outside! Lemon! Are you in there? Oh, he knows my name! Go the lights are back on. What's this about a galumphalot? At Lemon Salon, the poor girls. I tried to save them, but I was completely <coughs> galumphed. Oh, but galumphalots aren't real. Yeah, yeah they're not true. real. It's yeah. just a story. Oh, oh, this one most definitely was. <laughs> we must do something. Do you have a plan? <laughs> No, no, no! This is a galumphalot we're dealing with. <gasps> Much better. Uh, follow me. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Follow me. F f follow. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Oh no! The galumphalot's coming back. And it sounds like he's bringing friends! And lots of them! There's only one thing we can do. We have to face him. Show him we're not scared. Even though we are. <gasps> That's the spirit. On the count of three. One, two, on three. Or after you say three. Oh, you know, I was wondering the same thing. Me too! I'd hate for you to run out on three, and I was left waiting here for you to say three. Maybe we could go out on four. Four's a good number. Yeah, yeah four. That's okay. a good idea. Okay. Four! 
fixed the juice pipe junction a while ago. The power's back on? <laughs> oh, Bitterberries, I had the light switch off. Sorry, girls. What is this all about? There was a galumphalot, and we booby-trapped it. But it came back. No, that was us. <clears throat> and, um, uh, me, <laughs> I'm afraid. What got you thinking about galumphalots in the first place? Blueberry said she read a book that didn't say there weren't any galumphalots. Well, I only said that because the rest of you were sure there were galumphalots. But it's just a story. Woogie, woogie, woogie! It... it was me. Oh... Ever since I heard that story, I started imagining what if there were galumphalots? And the story said they liked the dark, and I imagined some more, and, and well, soon I was booby trapping all around my store, and then Lemon Star too, and then... Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You never know what's in the dark, and, and well, how could you see if the galumphalots were out there anyway? Because it is dark. Look around you, Orange. Close your eyes. Are they closed tight? Now open them again and look around. Any galumphalots there? No. I always remind myself that there's nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. You're right. And if you can imagine the galumphalot being scary, then you could probably do a good job imagining one funny, too. <laughs> You're right. We are all bigger than our fears, no matter how bitty we think we are at times. That's right! And Orange, you were the one who got your old courage back at the end, even when we were all scared. I was? Oh, yeah! And you were the one that said, four! I was! And you were the one that fired the elastic trap. I was! You were always the bravest of us. I am. You're right, Strawberry. There is nothing in the dark that isn't there in the light. Not even golem for lots. Woogie, woogie, woogie! Woogie, woogie, woogie! <laughs> <laughs> Place all closed up? Yep, I did all the stuff you asked. Great, thank you. Guess we're all set to go as soon as the girls get here. Oh, I'm so excited to show you and Sweet and Sour how beautiful our countryside is. Your guys' first Berry Bitty City annual campout. Uh, Strop, I think I've been on a few campouts in my day. 
<laughs> I know you have Apple, but this is your first one with me. And that's very special to me. Oh, yeah, me too. What you got there? This is the perfect opportunity for me to film a camping video. I'm going to set up a link on my very best bits page. So, like a travel log? My night in the wilderness? Mm, not exactly. More like Apple's step by step guide on how to set up camp the right and proper Apple way. Sounds like a big project. No task is too big when it comes to teaching the world the science of camping in the outdoors. Sounds great, but you know, this camp out is for fun and friends, not work. So I hope you won't be too busy to have fun, too. Sour! Sweet! Are you ready? Hi, Apple. Where is everyone? I don't know if this great outdoors thing is going to be so great. Sour, we haven't even left yet. That's the best time to rethink going somewhere. That's a sweet camera, Apple. <laughs> sweet, get it? <laughs> <laughs> that does look pretty pro. Shooting a big movie? Camping tutorial. Oh, wow, great idea. A movie all about us? Oh, a video of our camp out? Uh, no, actually, none of you are in it, just me. I'm gonna demonstrate in high definition, stop motion, time lapse photography how to set up a camp, the fine points of how to properly pitch a tent, the do's and don'ts of unrolling a sleeping bag, how to avoid the heartbreak of a cold cook stove, two hours packed with vital information every camper needs to know. Oh. Uh Two hours? And an extra half hour of exclusive bonus material. Camping tutorial, the making of. I need a cloth to clean this with. Do you have one, Strop? Sure, in the kitchen. Are we ever going? Somewhere out there is a poison ivy plant with my name on it. We're coming! Huh? Wait for us! <sighs> Sorry, we're late, Strawberry. Whew. Almost forgot the supplies Sweet asked for. No worries. So, Orange, you got marshmallows? Check. Cherry's got them in her pack. Girls, I'm so excited to make you my special s'more than s'mores recipe. It's regular s'mores, you know, graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate bar, with my unique twist, strawberry slices and shaved almond. Yum, says Plum. Neat, says Sweet. <laughs> Oh, nuts, says Orange. Uh, that doesn't rhyme. No, no, the almond. I think I left it on the counter in my store. I'll go with you. And chocolate milk. You can't have a campfire without hot chocolate. Plum's got it in her canteen. Perfect. We'll heat it up on our campfire, and then you all know what's next. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's next? We put the fire out? <sighs> it's one of our long-standing camp-out traditions. Tall tales. Tall tales? Yeah, we make up fun stories, like tales, like make-believe, and tell them around the campfire. Everyone gets a turn. The wilder, more outrageous, the better. Sounds outrageously thrilling. How about short tales, so we can get home sooner? <laughs> You're too funny, Sour. All ready. Are we good? <sighs> Almond. Got it. We're all set. Let's do it. up with her. 
you do that. I'm gonna take a little break. <sighs> Have a good See break, you Cherry. Idea. Enjoy your rest, Cherry. <sighs> now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. Phew. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? <sighs> We're here. About time. Very beautiful meadow, our old campground. What a gorgeous spot. Huh? Apple, wow, you're really going to town. The first part of assembling a tent is to lay out all your equipment in a neat and orderly manner. I'm so sorry, but this is the spot where we usually build the campfire. It is? And we set up all our sleeping bags just over there. And our cooking equipment here, near the campfire. Can I help you move your... set over to the edge of the meadow? That's okay, Strawberry. I want to keep it in a certain order, so I'll do it myself. You guys go ahead. Don't mind me. in the very bitty world has happened to Orange, Cherry, and Plum. Maybe they got smart and went home. Sour. So, where's the marshmallows? I've got my stick. Let's get roasting. That's for after dinner. And we can't start dinner until we find the other girls. I'll go back down the trail and look for them, Strawberry. Thanks, sweet. I'll come with you. <gasps> Cherry! Plum! Orange! Where have you been? Are you all right? So sorry, Strawberry. Long story. You wouldn't even believe it. Try me. Well, I was just taking a little rest stop with Orange and Plum, just minding our own business, not bothering us all, when all of a sudden... <gasps> Marshmallows. But suddenly, Orange ran out of tree. Plum and I had to think fast. She stuck a perfect ten landing. <laughs> How did you ever get the backpack back? Oh, yeah, we uh, made a trade with the bird. Orange's almond for my backpack. You mean there's not going to be any shaved almonds for my s'more than s'mores? Come on, is that what really made you late? No, it's not. <gasps> Cherry's just trying to cover up for me. The truth is, it was all my fault. It was the canteen of chocolate milk. <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting her dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Now, look here. Might come in handy next time we're high stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! Oh, bluster AC 
Listen. It went down a crater hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for it now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes nothing. So, by gum, we clung down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <laughs> Well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now, that canteen is iron, Buster. Gotta hand it over real friendly-like. Wouldn't you know it, that critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Balleration. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best step lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Right in the end! Get him! Well, I'm here to tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That varmint threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you too. <laughs> So, no almond shavings for my s'more than s'mores? <laughs> Come on. What really made you late? Okay, okay, here's the deal. Uh, it was really, uh, well, all my fault. The truth is... I put it to you, Orange. Might that be the very almond intended for sweet s'more than s'mores recipe? What? Why, well, indeed it is. Oh, whatever was I thinking, I shall squirrel it away, as they say, until an appropriate occasion calls forth the necessity to bring it out in the open. Eh, hey, what? Well said, Orange. Well said. Uh -huh. <gasps> I beg your pardon? Is that polite? Cheeky fellow, eh, what? I say, fellow travellers, let's tarry no longer in this dreadful spot. Off we go! Beg pardon? I must confess, I read like the very dickens. And who wouldn't, being chivied by a fiend, set on Pelonian Sweet's precious almond? I believe I have a strategy that I suspect might outwit this thieving rapscallion. Have you? Do tell. I say, old girl, capital idea.
don't get it. What's so funny? Sweet! <laughs> Why so serious? Don't you like our tall tales? What tall tales? Wait a minute. Oh, no! Sweet, you weren't there! Wasn't where? This morning at the cafe when I explained about our tradition of telling tall tales. You went with Orange and... Oh, I'm sorry. Sweet. <laughs> it's something we always do for fun around the campfire. We make up outrageous stories. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought all those stories were real. <laughs> Nah, it's all just silly stuff. <laughs> Plum and Cherry and I will get more kindling since we were late and couldn't help set up camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm dying to know what really happened. What really took you so long? Oh, Strawberry, I don't know. It's it's just too embarrassing. Come on. Well... It's like this. You see... We just stopped to take a break. Now that looks like the best idea I've seen all day. You said it. Uh, guys? That isn't the chocolate milk for the hot chocolate around the campfire tonight, is it? Uh, and isn't that almond supposed to be for sweet special s'more than s'mores recipe? Uh, well, but n no one's gonna miss just one little sip. No one's gonna miss one little nibble. Well, then I'm having a marshmallow. No one will miss just one, right? My new dance routine. No chocolate for strawberry? No marshmallows for sweets more than s'mores? I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. We better run back to my store. <laughs> Hurry! Before someone sees us! Can't find my keys! Oh, here! Hold this! Marshmallows. Check inside the storeroom. You got it. I found the marshmallows in the storeroom, but I tripped and knocked the door closed, and I couldn't get it opened. Hey, get me out of here! Hold on, Plum. G uh, we'll catch you. Here. Got everything? Canteen. Marshmallows. Check. Where's the almond? Inside. On the counter. Locked. Keys. Inside. On the counter. Next to the almond. Aww. Now what do we do? We gotta get back. It's getting late and they'll be worried. Sorry, sweet. You're gonna have to do without the almond. And so, we ran back up here as fast as we could. <laughs> That's the best tall tale ever! <laughs> but unfortunately, it's true. <laughs> <laughs>
though. Still lots of time before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Pupcake! <laughs> hey, come back! Pupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Strawberry. Morning, Blueberry. <laughs> Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hi, Strawberry. Morning, Lemon. Mmm, what's that fragrance? Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that would be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry, berry fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. 
<sighs> I'll help you, Barricade Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Verykinville. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on Willow. I'll take Willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Good morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay. But if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay. Bring it in! <gasps> <laughs> now, Custard, <laughs> this is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst. Do you want to see what under control looks like? Okay? Well, sure. 
Problem solved. Orange, are you sure there isn't anything we can do to help you? Thanks, Strawberry. But I've got the whole thing under control. Whoa! Uh, so <laughs> refreshing. <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Okay, who's next? Nope, it's been quiet here too. Not a customer all day. How about you? Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. <laughs> Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, you know what? Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and... Excuse me. Um, pardon me. Beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi. Excuse me, those are for produce only. creative experience, nothing beats painting in a water coloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. Would 
you like me to? Oh no, no problem. I, I can handle it. Quick, wrangle those radishes. Catch, Blueberry. Thanks. Great, more crates. Why are we whispering? Because if Orange finds out we're helping, she'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, Mom thinks she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. <laughs> There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? How fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm. So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry, because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it. Great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem, time. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berrykin Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time! Girls, come back! 